Hello everybody and good day. This is Fred with One Or CCTV of New England and we are coming at you today with our second video in the Camp Pro series. Uh, in the first video, there's a link above, um, we opened the box and showed you the different um, items that are in the box um, and what each of them do. Now we're going to put everything together uh, and use it real time here in a camper in a campground. We're going to cover that right now. Okay, so let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we start, please subscribe to our channel. There is a red subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Um, please subscribe to our channel um, so you can be notified when we have future content. Also, like our content if the video is useful to you. Um, and as always, leave comments. So yes, we're going to start with the omnidirectional antenna. This again is a 8 BBI antenna. Uh, it's pretty powerful. And we are going to connect it to the long range CPE. Okay, um, we talked about it before. There is a N connector here. You're just going to place the antenna here and tighten it like so. Okay, it threads right into place fairly easily. Okay, so we have attached the omnidirectional antenna at this point um, to the CPE. Okay. Now what we're going to do, the kit came with a USB cord that's about 25 feet long and there are two ends to this USB cord. As you can see, this one is bigger than this one. We want to take the fatter end of the USB cable and insert it into this antenna. Okay. To do that, we're going to unthread the cap. And when we unthread this, we want to be careful not to lose any of the parts. Um, but there is a U spacer, just like that. And there's also a waterproof cap, which is very important because this is going to be outside in the elements. We don't want any of our connections to get wet, right? What we're going to do, we're going to take the fat end of the USB cord and we're going to put it through the base of this cap, okay? Once it's through there, we're going to use the U-spacer, like so, and we are going to plug the USB port into the USB plug. So we'll just put this like so, and then we can secure uh, our cap by threading it back on, okay? So we have inserted the USB cable into the port. Um, we've tightened the cap down. All that is left now is to put on this weatherproof cap. Again, very important. It's going to be outside, right? Um, this simply fits around the cable, like so, and it will push right into this end, folks. Just like that, okay? A nice watertight uh, seal. In the box with this kit, you will also find a black roll of weatherproof tape. If you like, um, you can tape the um, the remaining threads of where the omnidirectional antenna uh, screws into the CPE right here um, to further um, the weatherproof seal. Okay. Now that this part is done, we're going to go outside and we are going to mount this sucker on the exterior of the RV uh, in a fashion. You can see we're in a campground, real time. Uh, we're going to mount it in a fashion where it has um, the best chance of line of sight to one of the campground's access points. Uh, as we've discussed in previous videos, campgrounds distribute Wi-Fi to guests that are staying in sites through access points. Um, they're big antennas. If you're not sure where the closest one is, um, you can ask the camp office. Um, they'll tell you and you'll know where to place this on your RV. Okay, so let's get at it. Okay, in the box you receive two zip ties. Uh, what we're going to do, the uh, CPE of the omnidirectional antenna, the base, has two slots for your zip tie. We're going to put these in just like so. 
as you can see there. And we're gonna find a place on the RV uh, to zip tie these to secure the omnidirectional antenna in a fashion where it has line of sight to one of the access points. So I'm gonna climb up there and do that right now. Okay, so we are on the top of the RV. As you can see, I have the omnidirectional antenna and the CPE base. I have my zip ties. I'm going to actually secure this right here because I can see the campground's closest access point from here. It's a good line of sight. We're going to um, tighten these zip ties and I'll catch you on the inside. All right, so we are back in the camper at this point. Um, we have mounted the antenna together um, on the roof so the omnidirectional antenna uh, has line of sight to an access point. Um, I've run the USB cable um, through a window. Um, Luckily in this, in this RV you can close the window, it still seals around the cable. Um, depending on your type of camper, obviously um, you're going to have to get creative to bring the cable inside. We really can't do a video on that part for you, um, but you're going to have to figure out a way to get uh, the USB cable from the roof um, into um, the living quarters um, of your Boulder RV. Once you've done that, you're going to plug the smaller end of the USB cable into the routing device. Again, the fatter piece is plugged into the antenna. Um, all that's left to do, we've got the 12 volt transformer plugged into a wall outlet. Um, and we are going to power up um, the Alpha Networks router. So we'll give this a chance to boot up um, and we will pick it up on the PC. All right, guys, so at this point, we have the antenna uh, mounted on the roof of the RV. Um, it can somewhat see the access point. Um, it's about an eighth of a mile away, I would guess, and there is uh, light foliage in between the access point um, and the antenna. So what we're going to do now is we are going to log in to the, um, to the router to the Alpha Networks router, and we are going to connect it to the campground Wi-Fi and also set up a broadcast that we can use um, to connect devices to the Alpha router within the camper. So we're going to go into our Wi-Fi settings here, and we are going to look for the Camp Pro right there, Wi-Fi Camp Pro 2 broadcast. Um, we are going to connect to that, and it should prompt us... Um, to create a password okay so for the purpose of this video um, we're going to make our password one two three four one two three four this is the administrative login to the Alpha Networks router okay so we're going to do that and it is going to bring us into the configuration settings um, this will allow us to select the campground broadcast that is strongest at our position um, and log into it okay so what we're looking for is signal strength folks um, we're looking for a strong DBM signal so a strong DBM signal um, is from 40 uh, to about mm, 65 maybe 70 and the higher you go the weaker the signal okay so in parentheses we see minus 56 DBM that is a awesome signal below that's minus 57 you see minus 58, minus 58, minus 59. Anything in green is going to be great, okay? It looks like below about 60%, we go into, um, you know, orange, and, you know, minus 81 is, is useless signal. So if we see green, okay, we're good. Um, I happen to know um, all of these broadcasts are from this campground. So we are going to pick the tech broadcast, and we're going to enter the campground's password to their Wi-Fi. So this tech broadcast is the campground's Wi-Fi. And I know that the password to this happens to be Summer 21. Okay. We want to leave network type DHCP that's going to allow the campground router to assign our NIC gear uh, an IP address on the network. Um, okay, now we're down here where it says internet connection, folks. What this is going to 
do, sorry, I've got to scroll back down. This network name is going to be the broadcast from your CamPro router to the clients in your camper. So we're no longer worried about the campground's Wi-Fi. We've picked the campground SSID, the broadcast. We've entered the campground password up top. Now we're creating our broadcast, okay? So we're just going to do test broadcast, all right? And the network password we're going to duplicate. We're going to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we are going to finish this. Once we're finished and the settings take effect and the router reboots, we will connect to this broadcast on our laptop. And we'll see you then. All right, folks, we are at the um, point where we can test this product. Uh, we have the 9 dBi omnidirectional antenna mounted to the roof. We've run the USB cable uh, from the antenna to the Alpha Networks router. Um, the router, we used our cell phone to configure it, both to connect it to the campground Wi-Fi um, and to configure a broadcast SSID or a Wi-Fi broadcast um, within our camper. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to open our Wi-Fi settings um, and look for that broadcast. And there you will see test broadcast. That's what we configured. We know the password is going to be 1234, 1234. So we'll connect to that. But before we did, I just wanted to point out the tech broadcast that we connected to, the free Wi-Fi, uh, laundry, there's a premium down here. The campground Wi-Fi itself is only one bar, okay? That's a weak, unusable signal, okay? So the Camp Pro has done exactly what it's supposed to. The antenna on the roof, the 2.4 gigahertz 9 dBi antenna, has locked in and amplified this tech broadcast from the campground um, and basically transferred this data to our router, our Alpha Networks router in the camper, um, and is distributing that to us with full bars. So we have the strongest connection available. Um, and I assume this is going to connect super quick once we put in the password. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Um, and let's see. Yes, connected right away. Um, now what I would like to do is stream a video um, to test the bandwidth or the throughput. Okay, folks, we are on YouTube now. And we are going to stream... Um, one of our videos so we don't have any copyright issues so we'll head over to Wentworth CCTV and I'm going to play of all things a video on campground Wi-Fi and we will watch that for a few seconds um, what we're looking for is any buffering or latency um, any issues like that um, it is important to remember um, the camp pro is only distributing um, the campgrounds Wi-Fi. So if the campground has a poorly designed system, um, if they're using mesh, um, if they don't have good throughput, uh, the camp pro device can't do anything about that. It's just going to be distributing junk. I do know this campground has great Wi-Fi because it was installed by us. Um, so hopefully this doesn't embarrass me and the video plays properly. But let's go ahead and play this video. I will put it at uh, full screen. And, Hello, um, we'll everybody. See how this it is does. Fred with Wentworth CCTV, and today um, we're going to cover um, the Easy Planner tool that we have. As you can see, there's no buffering. Elite um, dealers with with engineers. You can see me talking here. Um, to uh, basically it is show downloading you how in the background. You see the light gray bar. Where access um, wants it is to actually ahead of um, where a, we're playing. A lot of people think it's, what we want know, to see. it's just a crapshoot, and we put them where we think they will work and hope for the so best. Ahead there. Um, years so ago, maybe that like might have been well. the case. Um, uh, as stated, but today this, we this is an awesome product. Uh, this is a Wi-Fi um, signal that we were sure not that, able that to connect to um, prior to, to putting up the Camp Pro. Um, we have full um, bars, maximum strength signal with the Camp Pro, and we are map. streaming seamlessly on the YouTube. Number, the number one thing we want to look at. Hope you enjoyed the video. Again, please subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the field. Line of sight to 